In this video, we talk about functions of continuous random variables. So here is the scenario. I have a random variable x, uh, and I know the distribution of x. So I, for example, know the probability density function, or I might know the uh, cumulative distribution function of x. And I have another random variable y, which is a function of my random variable x. So y is equal to g of x, and I am interested in finding the distribution of y. For example, I'm interested in finding the CDF of Y or PDF of, PDF of Y and so on. This discussion is very similar to the discussion that we had for the case of discrete random variables. Basically, we can solve this problem, finding the distribution of Y, using uh, some simple steps. So here are the suggested steps. So first, step one, I suggest that we find range of the random variable Y, which is the set of all possible values of Y. How do we find that? Well, we know the distribution of x, so we know the possible values of x. And y is just g of x, so we can find the possible values of y. In particular, I can write the set of all possible values of y is equal to g of x, such that x belongs to the range of x. Okay? So, it's a good idea to do that first. The second step is to find the CDF of Y. So how do we do this? Well, CDF of Y, by definition, if Y of Y is equal to probability that Y le is less than or equal to lowercase y. Now, but Y is just G of X, so is equal to probability that G of X is less than or equal to Y. Now, I should be able to find this probability because I already know the distribution of the random variable x. Note that here I converted a problem regarding y to a problem regarding x. But because I know the distribution of x, I should be able to uh, find this value. And then after I find the CDF, I look at the CDF. If the CDF is a continuous function, that means that y is a continuous random variable, so I can find its PDF by differentiating the CDF. So if CDF is continuous, it's a continuous function, then I can find PDF of Y by differentiating the CDF, taking the derivative of the CDF. If the CDF is not continuous, then Y is either a mixed random variable or a discrete random variable. But in any case, we should be able to find the CDF of Y. Okay, so let's look at an example to make sure that we can apply these steps. So here's an example. Let X be a uniform random variable from 0 to 1. So what, what does it mean? It means that the PDF of X is basically is equal to 1 from 0 to 1 and 0 otherwise. So that's the PDF of x. In other words, the PDF of x is 1 for x between 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise. And we have found the CDF of x previously. You can look at the CDF of x as a function that is 0 for values less than 0. It increases to 1 and then it stays at 1. So that's the CDF of x. So that's the meaning of x being uniform from 0 to 1. So in other words, I can write the CDF of x as a function that is 0 for negative values is equal to x for x between 0 and 1, and it's 1 for x larger than 1. Okay, so we know the distribution of the random variable x, but we have another random variable y which is defined as e to the x. And we are interested in finding CDF of Y, PDF of Y, and expected value of Y. So I suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of the video. I suggest that you follow these uh, three steps that I mentioned here. First, find, find the range of Y, find the CDF of Y, and if the CDF is continuous, find the PDF used by differentiating the uh, CDF. Okay, so let's look at the solution. So let's try to find the CDF. Now, the first step was to look, find the range of y. So what's the range of x here? Range of x, you know, x could be any value from 0 to 1. So this is range of x. And y is equal to e to the x. Now note that this e to the x, uh, if you plot it, you know, if this is x, this is g of x is equal to e to the x. 
at equals x equals 0 becomes 1 and then it just increases so it's an increasing function so in particular if you put uh, x equals 0 e to the 0 becomes 1 if you put 1 x equals 1 then e to the 1 becomes e and because this is an increasing function we conclude that range of y is the set of uh, real numbers between 1 and e so that's range of y now the good thing about range of y is that we can immediately conclude that f y of y is going to be 0 if y is less than 1 and it's going to be 1 if y is larger than e right because just because of the range so all I need to do is to find f y of y for y between e and 1 between 1 and e so that was my first step finding the range now I want to find the CDF step 2 now f y of y is equal to probability that y is less than or equal to y note that here I assume y is a value between e between 1 and e so this is equal to probability y equals g of x so e to the x is less than or equal to y now again because e to the x is an increasing function we can take a log from both sides so I can in other words I can write this is equal to probability that x is less than or equal to log y these two are equal now we are in business why because note that we assume that y is a value between 1 and e this means that log of y is a value between 1 and 0 right so here I have what is this this is the CDF of X as at point log y but this is a value log y is a value between 0 and 1 so if I look at the CDF of X for values between 0 and 1 CDF of X is equal to X so basically the CDF at point log y is just equal to log y so the CDF of y for y's for the values of y that are between 1 and e is simply log y so let me summarize this f y of y we found that it's 0 for negative values is equal to log y for values larger than 1 and less than e and is gonna be 1 for y's larger than e if I want to be a little bit more accurate I should put the equal sign here but that doesn't matter in this for this problem anyway so uh, let's plot the CDF we found the CDF let's plot it so that's f y of y is 0 for values less than 1 then it equals to log y for values larger than 1 and it goes up to e note that if I put e here I get 1 so e and then it states at e at 1 sorry so if you think about it you see that this is a continuous function so the conclusion here is that y is a continuous random variable in particular I can find the probability density function of y by differentiating its CDF. So let's do that. F y of y is equal to the derivative of the CDF. The CDF is a constant for values less than 1 and larger than e. So it's going to be 0 in that range. So it's going to be 0 if y is less than 1 or y is larger than e and for values between 1 and e it's just uh, the, the derivative of log y which is equal to 1 over y okay uh, so that's the pdf so that was part b of the problem i believe yes yep pdf of y now we want to find the expected value of y so how do we find this well for this problem we have already found the density function of y so what we can do 
is just plug in is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity y f y of y dy and is equal to integral from 1 to e uh, y times f y is 1 over y dy so becomes just e minus 1 so for this problem because we have uh, already found the pdf we can directly find the expected value using the formula for expected value but if we hadn't found the pdf uh, an easy way of finding expected value of y is to use our formula for expected value of a function of a random variable uh, which uh, we called it uh, lotus expected value of g of x so it's in, so this the expected value of g of x is equal to integral from minus infinity to plus infinity g of x f x of x dx now remember the pdf of x is just equal to this here is 1 for values between 0 and 1 so this integral becomes integral from 0 to 1 g of x was e to the x y equals e to the x times 1 dx and this integral again becomes e minus 1 so we get the same answer and uh, we can you know both of them both ways are correct for this problem it doesn't matter which uh, way you solve the problem but again if uh, you hadn't found the pdf of y this method, the second method, uh, would have been easier. Okay, thank you.